Hopefully Team Blue gets no fifth, but it's gonna be Team Red with Athaman. Plus, got us this cold shade just blasted through all these pallet and stuff. Kryzer sitting in the back with a big old skull mask. We got Mercy. Oh, we got two fast back here and Mercy with his big old head. That actually looks kind of cool, dude. Bald head, big beard, all these wizardy things. This man looks like a good old wizard. We also got us a Dot Lord on Team Blue. We got us a How the Paladin, Luby, as well as Boss. Hopefully Team Blue gets their fifth eventually. Well, good luck and have fun. If you guys are not sure what to stand, stand on stairs. Stairs is fine. You stand right on the stairs when you're not dueling. If you're out of south unless you're dueling too, please. Thank you. Appreciate you. It's going to be Dot Lord already trying to get himself a massive open onto Cold Chain. That's going to be full. Abomination does land the Polymer around the corner, but that's going to be Arcane Miss or Infinite Stars into Cold Chain here. And Dot Lord might be able, he's going to be able to interrupt the Greater Pyre before it happens. Just try to get aggressive with this Mage in the Open. A stun trinket coming out immediately. It's going to trick it out. Of, it's going to actually. Nova everything, blink away, and Dot Lord did use the Death Shigat trick maybe a little too early where Cold Shade was away from it. So it didn't take the damage, but still a lot of damage coming out from all these pets up to Cold Shade. It's gonna be a co oh, oh. That's combined cauterize already! Already pro cauterize. So Dot Lord just got so much damage on him, it's not even funny. It's gonna get interrupted in fire spells and cold shade, not let him do damage at all. That gives him freedom to just go through it and just obliterate the guy. Dot Lord just obliterating it all, man. Mercy's up next, just going for full combustion of the bad. Dot Lord is gonna have to find a way to deal with all this fire, all this heat breath to follow right after. Mercy dropping down a massive meteor onto Dot Lord. Doesn't even work for greater fire buster or the early. Does actually get to juke him out on fire. Is just continue to use Scorch while backpedal. Not really sure if that's gonna be good. It has been effective, though. Dot Lord's health is going down little by little. He's gonna pop himself IBF right now. Son to Mercy. He could ice block this if he needs to. Mallard rolling on Dot Lord. Looks like Mercy got a lot of pressure onto the DK. Breath to follow. Dot Lord needs to heal. AMS is up to give him a little bit of immunity. Interrupt the Mercy on fire. That's going to be a color ice coming out with an ice block to follow. He still could come out trying to get this fire blast onto Dot Lord. Maybe Reaping Flames to follow. Does get himself a small heal with Chrysler. It's going to be Dot Lord using Reaping Flames from a distance. He's just backing out though for a second. Mercy trying to go for Ring of Frost onto Dot Lord. Not going to hit him, but it's going to give him not a lot of options to get the hell out of that area. It's going to Go for chance fusion immediately. Seal fire blaster coming out for Mercy back to back. Meteor to fall. I think Dot Lord might be down for the count. Meteor does crash on him. He still barely has some hell. He is dropping down little by little in the fire damage of the mastery, but it's not enough to eliminate him immediately. It's gonna summon an abomination from a distance. Took a little bit of fire damage from Mercy from afar though. Oh, uh, he's hoping that the pets do enough damage. Pyro blaster follow Dot Lord. I think might be down for the count. Does get himself a self heal. That's you got chicken at the very end. On to Mercy. Just jump down on top. Lands. Bam! Spikes out of the ground, and down goes the mage. Dot Lord with no health available. Chrysler is going to have a really easy time finishing him off. He does get himself a big death strike there. AMS to follow, so Chrysler can't really do anything about those damage for a little bit. Chrysler just walking, man. Just walking out of that situation, waiting for the AMS to be down. But it's going to be a lot of pets on him. Dot Lord is going to be behind the pillar. Is going to be able to do quite a lot of healing off of the Succubus pet. I don't know if Chrysler was paying attention or not. But that's going to be quite a lot of healing from that Succubus is going to pull that thing back. And that's where the undead army is going to try to turn around on him. Kryzer is actually going for a little bit of self-healing of his own. That was a lot of cooldowns out of Dot Lord too. That's going to be a whole new succubus for him to play with. That's going to be a whole new pet for Dot Lord though. Looks like both the Warlock and the Death Knight did get himself a good reset. Dot Lord gripping in Kryzer on top of him into a Strangler. Going to be a succubus CC with a Cancel for free. Actually, no Cancel does get stunned first one, but second one still goes through with a Shadow Fear right after. Cataclysm to follow. Kryzer does get Twisted Appendage proccing. Dot Lord does eliminate Twisted Appendage immediately, and it's going to go for a little bit of damage zone with a Frenzy Regen or uh, Frenzy, Unholy Frenzy, I guess. It's been forever since he's seen that ability, really. Uh, as I use it. I don't play on Holy Dinner as much. But that's going to be Death Coil to get Dot Lord away. And then he's going to go down for the count. How the Paladin is up next. Going to eat a Kesbolt to the face. Does not get a rebuke on it. Actually, Chrysler stopped himself from casting Kesbolt halfway through. Going to be some... Was that a trinket out of How the Paladin? Might have actually been the trinket out of him just now. Chrysler is going to have to wall this and try to see if he can sink a bunch of Kesbolts into How the Paladin while Shield of Vengeance is up and running. There was going to be a gateway. Drop it down in Forno so the Paladin can't go anywhere. That's going to become flags just to keep him at bay for a second. Bubbling out of that Kesbolt though. 
And Kryzik will still go for some huge damage, does not have wall anymore. Which is to give himself a little bit of opportunity to deal with how. That's gonna be twisted a penish proc and onto the paladin. Put him out in the open with a death call. It's a Kesbal Raptor. Fear trying to come out. Hodge onto Kreiser. How might have to play defensive? Getting on the second to see. As his wings goes up, but Kreiser no longer has the infernal, but has this Kesbal still to sling from a distance quite a bit. Shadow Fear around the corner. Does not land that stun. And how the paladin is gonna be able to recover a little bit. Kreiser is gonna actually just summon a whole new succubus, not letting how the pally get resources off that thing. Actually, for how the Paladin, you know what it's actually good for? Middle Lung Wings, because you need to take like 50 separate hits of damage before you can use the Swings. It's every time you take damage, you build up a stack, and once it hits 50, after taking damage from dots or hits, uh, then you can use Middle Lung Wings. So it's actually good for him to have the pet slapping him the whole time. Like, there's actually no point of stopping it. Now that's going to be Kreiser catching a Calm Flag onto the Paladin while he has a little bit of an angle. That's going to be Twisted Pen dropping in. I think Howe is just going to wait it out for a second. Five minutes into this duel, Dampening Stone to roll in. And Kreiser It's going to have himself plenty of time to figure this one out. Who are we here with stars? I think it is Howe the Paladin, right? He's the one with stars. It's going to be Hodges or Kreiser. Does use Dresser Gas Trinket. And that Dresser Gas Trinket is going to split the damage between Kreiser and his pet. This is where Howe the Paladin needs to find a way to maybe slow the pet, stun Kreiser, Get to a far side of cries of where the pet isn't. Use Destergath. It has quite a big range. You can actually be away from the Warlock and hit him with Destergath. And as long as it only clips the Warlock by a hair, all the damage will go straight to the Warlock. How is taking quite a lot of damage. Suck him and see to follow Kreiser. Sit himself pretty next to the gateway. Actually, could gateway out of this if he wants to. It's going to get locked down on fire spells for just a second. Blessing of protection coming down for How just to deny the physical damage of that pet for Prox. But it's still a lot of dot damage available for Kreiser. Next up, flag could be huge. Shield of Vengeance is up for How. It's going to be wings to fall. And it's going to be gateway for Kreiser immediately. How does have the Shield of Vengeance popping away from the pet for the time being. Has wings. That's a lot of damage and a lot of healing. Kreiser, try to see if he can find an angle. Does almost get the Cataclysm. So almost landing the Cataclysms onto How the Paladin is gonna land it this time and for the paladin he is getting those infant stars procking onto the pet not the warlock which is bad for him that's gonna be death call for Kreiser as the trick is that hammer of justice that's gonna be quite a good position for a paladin though still he finds him either way with a casbol one casbol two and that's gonna be down for the count Kreiser taking out that paladin luby is up next though man we'll see if luby is going to be able to do anything about Kreiser. That's going to be a full Infernal coming down. Luby does not want to play with that Infernal, man. He's looking at his own muscles. Look at that Infernal's big old muscles. He's like, yo, dude, I'm getting out muscle here. I'm going to back out for a second. Oh, no. Kreiser trying to see if he can sneak in a Cataclysm around the corner. Still let one go off. I don't know if he was able to clip Luby or not. It looks like he was. He said there's plenty of fire damage. Luby got himself wings up and running. Hodge with the Kreiser. No trick out available. He's going to hit him with X Crusade. This is going to be second CC. Blah, bubble coming out just to get immune to all CC. Kreiser does not use the gate. We're just yet. Waiting for the bubble to be over. Does use the Warlock Hellstone. Might have a Death Call available here. Does use the Death Call in case I guess maybe Luby goes for a trinket. Shout out if you were to follow from a distance. Maybe trinkets it here. Kazbolt to follow. Does not have the Infernals to buff the Kazbolts anymore. Does go for a Dark Soul stability. Kazbolts are going to pop off pretty hard. If you were to follow onto the Paladin. Winter Kazbolt. That is going to break through. Shield of Vengeance. Fear again. Just trying to fear him. And Kazbolt and back to back. This is going to be interrupted, I believe, on a Kazbolt. Maybe, maybe a fear. It's going to be Hodge of the Kreiser. Luby might have the damage. It's going to be second to see. Wall for Kreiser right now. Luby tried to continue the damage here. Emily coming out. Kreiser might have enough defenses to take out Luby. Does take him on Gateway out. I think he flags him from a distance. And down goes the Paladin. Double Paladin could not survive against Kreiser. Next up is Rogue with Reaping Flames. Go Road as Kreiser has no damage and no health available. And down he goes. That's going to be a boss getting bursted down by too fast. Immediately going in real quick in there. It's going in way quickly. Double Destry got Oh, Destry, both Destry got Chicken is getting changed by both the Rogues at this point. Or maybe... Boss used his on Kreiser. I think he's his on Kreiser, maybe. Maybe he saved it for the other rogue. But it's going to be evasion for boss right now. Trinket coming out for too fast. Does use the human racial. Try to see if he can catch up to boss. And boss just looking to maybe keep him at bay for a minute or two. Wait, is too fast playing that? He's subtlety, right? Okay, I was going to say. Maybe he's assassination for some reason. But he does land the cheap shot bike. And the boss had nothing left at the end. And down he goes. Cries are coming back in, boys. Burning through paladins like it ain't nothing.